All right, Angel Wolf with Angel Wolf's journey back here again. And here is my world rendered in Minecraft release 1.1. I had originally planned to record in 1.0, but I forgot about that. And also noticed that there was a little bit of a terrain change. So I ended up double uh, rendering and I walked a little, or not walked, but measured a little too shallow. I needed 1024 uh, in distance and I used 512 in distance. So it ended up with a version split anyway. But here is my world in MC Edit. I went around and I captured as many villages as were in my render path. Uh, I haven't trimmed out this world. As you can see, I have marked uh, where the cut is to be made with the chunk editor and MC Edit to be able to create a nice, perfect, trimmed world. But I captured as many villages as possible at everything that was in render distance. And I just generated a tall enough cobblestone area around the village and saved it because these are going to be useful later. I, I cut off here because uh, not only is it going to be chopped off, but when I come into 1.0, Two, release 1.2 there's going to be a sheer cliff here so it's going to create a natural wall <coughs> but excuse me you can see more of my one chunk markings chunks are 16 by 16 blocks and minecraft generates a chunk at a time let's take a little bit of a look at the cave View. And we can see a bunch of mine shafts. There were a lot of mine shafts generating in release 1.0 and release 1.1. This is a stronghold where we can get to the end. I'm not going to immediately be doing anything with this. That's going to be for a later date. But, you can see the stronghold. This is where I know one of them is. And some of the things I'm going to be doing is using MC Edit to mark all the spawners with a couple of bits of cobblestone so that I can easily find them later when I want and need content to make a mob grinder. That's going to be a lot of work. There's going to be one point where I uh, am breathing a bunch of villagers and creating a bunch of trades for them. They don't have anything tradable until 1.2, but that's going to be a while. Let's take you into the world and give you a Alright, welcome back. Angel Wolf here with Angel Wolf's Journey. Let's give you a little bit of look at my release 1.1 version of the world. And give you a small tour. Let's see if we can make an episode out of this. Now, I imported my uh, original... 2011 base into this world and I just placed it in a different place just so I'd have some resources when I finally do start uh, survival playing this world while playing in survival mode. I know it is dark. This is just a tour. Let's get a little bit of a nap and go looking around. Alright, let's double check the sound options and all that. So when you change versions, you gotta change sounds. Alright, 
Alright. Keep some of my stuff. I'm also going to be duping in this world as much as I can with the resources I already have. It's my world. I will play it how I want. And I'll be using most of my starter resources in order to have a much better start and better create in this world. It's my world. I will do it how I want. Let's have a little bit of a look around. Also in MC Edit, I uh, created a cobblestone future rail bridge and cut out into the terrain versions to be able to more easily facilitate a railroad. And at every uh, chunk border where the terrain changes, I'm going to be placing a border base that the rail will go to. Alright. As you can see, we're going to have to go up and over because this isn't quite complete to the rail or to the chunk border yet, so we have to go up and over, but it is not far. This 512 blocks is not very far. That was the original distance of a Minecraft map, it was 512 blocks. So that's how far we're going to go. And it is not far, but I have to get up and over this mountain. So, while I've got you on the line, you can actually see the edge of the chunk border there. Now, that hurt. In this version, we got a hunger system. Well, in 1.0, release 1.0, we got a hunger system. And, well, we got to eat food now and all that. They also introduced sprinting too, which was nice. It was nice. That's a nice to have. They also introduced different biomes. This is a swamp biome, but because this is old terrain, all it is doing is generating the colors and making everything look kind of dull and gross. But and to some degree, vines generated because the quirks of Minecraft. And here we are on the chunk border. You can see lots of swamp and how the terrain changed. You can even peer over the edge. Got lucky water. I have not completed it too much in this version. Like I said, this is just a tour, and eventually I will be playing in survival. We got some nice 1.0 floating islands. Uh, when I load up version 1.2, I will show you the more completed rail and chunk border. Might not have been till 1.4 until I actually did that though. Well, it's not impossible. I can show you now, actually. We'll walk a little bit. It's only 512 blocks before we get to the 1.1 border. So let's have a small walk. Now, in also in MC Edit, I marked the stronghold location, or the location of the silverfish spawner in the stronghold, in order to be able to more easily find it. And that's what this is, because eventually I will be raiding the stronghold. There are three strongholds until 1.9, when they change the amount of strongholds to be basically infinite. But in the initial uh, 
stronghold generation. They only had three strongholds in the world, Mudjang did, and they were in basically a triangular shape. This is just the most northern version, well, most northern stronghold. Let's keep going forward some more and see if we can't find that 1.1 terrain change. T swamps were very large in this version and they were very frequent. It was kind of a headache in the release 1.0 days. But as they added more biomes, Mojang, they uh, got less frequent and more diverse. <coughs> Excuse me. And it made the game more fun to play. I've been. Like I said, I've been playing since 2011. It's one of my favorite games, and I'm going to show you all the terrain border changes throughout every terrain change as much as I can. Let's get up and over this mountain. I don't think I'm very far away from the terrain changing. I do not need that egg. So I'm not going to get that egg. Alright. Which I'm a lot further than I thought because it was at 1024 blocks, as you can see on the Z direction. Of when the terrain changes. And I am only at 900. So I, while I'm, I've still got a ways to go, I'm not that far away either. This Minecraft's really interesting. It can be whatever you want it to be, whatever you want to make in it. That's what makes Minecraft fun and why I play it. I think I have found the terrain change. It was a really minor terrain change, but it was a terrain change nonetheless. It was also a minor goof. Yes, here is the terrain change. This will be the location of a future uh, middle of the terrain base. Where the world scene is, we won't be seeing this ever again because they, they fixed that. There wasn't a lot of difference between 1.1 and 1.0, but there was a difference and it changed some terrain. So this will be a future middle of the map, middle of the terrain base. All right, so let's end it here. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and if you want to support me on Patreon, I will give you a producer credit. It's only $5, $5 not $500, $5 a month. Uh, you get uh, one day early access to the video. You get to help me design and build things and pick things to build in the world and help make my world really awesome, and you get access to those overviewer maps I used in the beginning of the video. So if you feel like supporting me, please follow me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month. And um, let's get on to the next video here.